when I straightened out that twisted spring stop plate or whatever it might be called officially and I've put everything back together and just uh, fitted the gearbox out of cover with just one screw in it at the moment. Uh, I put it on there just to see if what I'd done had made the gear selection mechanism work and um, it has. So I'll just put the camera down and uh, I'll just basically run through the gears and show they're operating okay and then I'm going to take the end cover off again and clean everything up and uh, sort some uh, sort of gasket out. Probably I'll use well seal I think but I'll get rid of all that uh, awful orange silicon snot that seems to be everywhere and um, then I can put it back together for keeps I hope. So I'll put the camera down and uh, hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate the gear selector mechanism working. There we are in neutral. Click that first gear up, down to second, down to third, and down again to top. So that's four gears working that way. Click back up to third, click second, bit bigger click and we're in first, one click down, back to neutral. And the gear lever is springing back to its central position as it should, ready to make the next upward or downward selection. So that's a pleasing result. There was nothing at all broken in there, just that twisted stop and centralising plate and a dislocated spring which I've sorted out. So uh, that's a big step forward. Hopefully. Uh, big step towards us possibly getting a ride on this thing sometime soon I hope.